Morning Show, where we talk about the latest topics in pop culture. I'm Brittany Jones Cooper. I'm Shannon Coffey. I'm Allie Colbert. And I'm Lucas Tim. Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about why Gossip Girl is reclaiming its steps on the Met, Grimes' extreme workout routine, and what Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom plan to work on before they rush into marriage. Plus, pizza aficionado Scott Wiener and Mark Iacono join the table. But first... But first, um, I'm sure you're all aware um, a certain trailer was released yesterday. And before mm -hmm. we throw to it, I just want to say viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> and to children at home, I'm sorry these images may be horrifying to you. Um, let's, let's show it. Like, what is that? Why are they so small? Why do they have human features? Why do they move like that? Why? I, 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 guys, I'm talking, I literally cried when I watched it. I'm not joking that Lisa Rinna get on the single tier. That was me just watching this trailer. Why do we keep returning to the cats? Like, we know, cats are, this is a hated story. <laughs> like, why do we keep, we just make fun of this all the time. Yes. Why is this now a movie? I don't get it. Because we like to ruin our classics by making them terrifying. But like, is this I don't a classic? Know. This is like just a classic hated thing. No, Cats is a classic Broadway theater And experience. everyone hates. Well, I don't think everybody hates it. The music alone is what people love. I don't know if people love people the Cats. People love the music from Cats? Yes. Well, it's based <laughs> That's on a thing. the T.S. Eliot poem or whatever. I mean, he must be rolling in his grave. I mean. What do you mean? He's not happy. I don't think he envisioned these. <laughs> I don't think he CGI Cats when he wrote that. I'm sorry, I don't overreact. I, I can't. I'm so, I, I I will go see this. I will go see it. You will go see it after? Screaming. I'm going to be at oh midnight God, and Do you understand, like, the, I mean, Cats is a big deal Wait, for a lot of people. how could you have that reaction and now be because like, I'm going to go see it? It's like the purge to me now. Like, I'm going to yeah. be like, four or five, like, ah! Like, watching Jet Brown and Sing Memory screaming. I almost think you have to be stoned to go yes. to this, though. I think if you went, like, a little stoned, it would be really funny. Yeah, I think that you should actually do shrooms for this because Ooh. I think it'll make it so much better and the faces are going to pop. For me, the best part of a cat is literally, like, the cat mouth, those, like, cool little lips they have. To see a human mouth on a cat body is such a waste of a hot-ass body. Right. I do like seeing the furry titties. Like, mm. I am, like, I would love to pet a cat and just be like, oh, oh, mm, oh, my God. Like, furry titties to me sounds dope, but they need to fix the mouth. The faces are just, like, plastic on to the yeah. bodies. Like the CGI you would think would be a little better. I would rather have had them in leather cat costumes. Like I would rather have gen like oh, yeah. wow, 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 wow. Like, I would want <laughs> that verse. Like Mr. G, Don't do Summer High Thigh, verse <laughs> like <laughs> this. Hey, wow, 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 wow. Well, if you, if you, wa again. you watch Summer High Thigh, you know what I'm doing. Um, but I'd rather have that than, than this. Wow, okay. I, I don't care if they know what it is. It's still gross. <laughs> I will point out that Jay Hud's voice is the of best course. part of this trailer. Of course. It is perfect. And again, the music is, I think, the biggest part of Cats, why it's become the classic it has. So that was encouraging, of is course. that they got the music okay. right and the right people to sing. But I'm trying tell to find me one... then why the trailer is better when you put five on it. It is! <laughs> it's so much better when they re-edit it with that song and you're like, this is the story we want. Yeah, you guys know the song, I Got Five on it, like the, the one they use in Us, the creepy ass one. <laughs> okay, go find that on Twitter immediately. It's it is, so much better. it makes it so much better. Yeah. Taylor Swift in this is how I see Taylor Swift always. Yeah. <laughs> In a weird way. Yeah. Like, that's how I, I feel like this is her vibe, you know? Like, she would do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, which of these cats would you have sex with? I would take uh, Jason Derulo. Jason Oh Derulo. Yeah, yeah I feel like he'd be, like, a good cat. I, I, don't, I had trouble identifying who was who in this Yeah, color. I would just say, like, I would not have sex with the James Corden cat. Yeah. That was shady. That was shady on He just looks annoying. He looks like he'd talk too much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Like you're like, I just fed you, and he's like, meow, 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 meow. And you're like, the litter box is clean. Like, what's your problem? It's like, you don't have a late night talk show. Shut the That's fuck up. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel That's like he'd be an annoying cat. Yeah, I would be I'm too petrified to do anything. Sorry. <laughs> Not Dame, Dame yeah. Judy Dench. Oh. Yeah. That's oh, up I, your alley. I would, I would worship her. <laughs> I would be like this beautiful J Dame Judy Dench cat. I would be like, please, let me bow down to get you whatever you want. Yeah. yeah, this reminds me of that story that you told about how your cats used to jump on your lap and lick their nipple yes, until they it was did. raw. And yeah. I, I think that's why you're not like getting into cats. Wait, lick you know? your nipple? No, they would lick their own nipples. They would, they would, <laughs> they would, <laughs> they would, they would masturbate on top of me. Yeah. We were close. We were close. Do you think that's affecting the way you saw this trailer? Maybe. You know what? Yeah. I, you know, because we we parted up not on great terms. The cats left, and um, I never got to say goodbye. Really. Aww. Do you think that's influenced how you see women? <laughs> 
<laughs> why they all just sort of sit and masturbate on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. I'll have to think of. I'll have to think about that. Yeah. Think while you think about it, can you do that? <laughs> Before we go to the next story, just yeah. go. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, moving on, the streaming war is heating up with several new ser services coming in the next few months. But what does this mean for Netflix? The new options are taking a bite out of Netflix's okay. content, subscribers, and of course, profit. Here to chat about what to expect from your streaming ser services is host of In Case You Missed It by HuffPost, Heather Gardner. Heather! Hey, happy Friday! Heather. Heather. I should start writing in the copy, Miss Heather. Miss yeah. Heather. Yeah. Heather Gardner. I Ms. read Heather it and I was here. like, no yeah, right? It's Foster. happening. Foster, who is she? <laughs> well, Miss Heather, yes, what are yes. some of these new streaming services? Um, we could be here all day talking about the new streaming services, yeah. but there are five big ones that are coming out in the next few months. We're not talking about years from now. We're talking about either this year, this mm -hmm. one launching next month, mm -hmm. and then early into 2020, we have five major services that are trying to steal you away from Netflix. Not just trying to, you know, capitalize on what Netflix did, but really trying to get you to cancel your subscription. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's so yeah. rude. Is it? I think it is. It's rude to be like, come to us and leave your daddy. It's like Netflix was there for us when we had no one else. That's yeah. right, the OG. And all these other streaming services are basically like trying to take us away. And I'm like, I want to be loyal. Like, I would rather try to get a second job to get all the other <laughs> streaming services than leave Netflix. I'm sure Netflix is going to be really happy to I hear you say leave that. I don't Netflix either. I think I'm going to get another, but I'm not going to leave Netflix. I'll leave yeah. Hulu before I leave Netflix. Uh, Ooh, I agree, I agree. But, but who... What, I was going to say, what are these other services? Right, so let's go ahead and get into that first yeah, of all. This was, this was the new one that just was announced this week, HBO Max. Right. Yeah, so if you have, like, HBO Go, they are just taking it to the max. I think that's why they picked that name. Right. I hope yeah. so. Anyway, um, so that's going to include CNN, TBS, The CW, a lot of these cable channels you'll be able to get as a streaming service in addition to HBO's other stuff. Now, the reason that they're trying to steal you is because they have exclusively gained the rights to Friends. Right. I see your Jen Anderson. That's that you wore, I know. You I wore, wore a good day. Yeah, I wore today for this discussion. Yeah. yeah so that um, is really interesting. It's, really, it's are you kind of heartbreaking. Get HBO Max for friends. But I'm so tired of people whoring themselves out for this <laughs> fucking mediocre show. Buy the fucking Sorry. DVDs and stop these streaming wars over I, friends. I own the DVDs. No, yes. don't go <laughs> for friends. I'm tired of friends. I can't believe that Netflix made a hundred million dollars for the other for just one year. All my beautiful Netflix originals are suffering because of this stupid ass heteronormative bullshit. Buy the DVDs, stay home, stop. and stop doing it. <laughs> or this. go to Hulu and watch Living Single because that was the original Friends and Friends stole its concept from that show. I'm just jumping. So, wow, well, I feel like I need yeah. to like remove so, myself. I should get at it. Friends <laughs> leaving Netflix kind of gets to what's happening right now. This past quarter, Netflix lost uh, over 100,000 subscribers yep. when they were expected to gain over 300,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. This is the first time in eight years this has happened. Yeah, it's because they raised their prices. Yeah. And they had to, because let's just face it, they spent $100 million on Friends. Duh! Also, Stranger <laughs> Things, which we love. I mean, they spent $8 million per yeah. episode yeah. just for Stranger Things. They are really diving into their original content, as they should. But for that reason, they had to raise prices, and that's why they lost. Wait, is HBO Max going to have the new Jen Anderson show, or is that the Disney app? That's, app, that's, that's Apple. actually Apple. That's yeah. Apple. So that's what I'm going to yeah. do. So I, 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 know, I, I know my my streamer is coming out. Oh, I'm good. very very excited. And he but, just pulls out streamers. <laughs> <laughs> there's this great New York Times article about the streaming wars yep. that are happening, and that so many. These, stream, these, these companies are just looking for content that possibly HBO one day will have game shows. That's like what, that, what they're yeah. aiming at. So do you think it's like... This is a time for creatives now that oh, because absolutely. there's people just every service needs shows. Yeah. Every service needs an enormous amount of content. I think I think it was HBO Max or it may have been Apple. I'm, I'm getting them confused now too. But they're going to start with over a hundred hours of or no ten thousand hours HBO of content. Max, yeah, yeah. Hours. I mean, just like from day one, uh, ten thousand hours of content for you to watch. And you know, you're not going to get through it. You're going to watch something new every time. Netflix lived off of for so many years just all of our old content, and then they decided that they had to have new content. There had to be a reason for you to keep coming back because Friends wasn't cutting it. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the big thing also is um, really Disney. Really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Disney Plus. That's Disney Plus. Oh, yeah. I will definitely sign up for Disney Plus. That's it's really cheap too. It's on the cheaper side. It's, it's like only six. seven dollars a month. Yeah. yeah. Which is like a dream if you are a parent. Did you have all the VHSs? Yeah. I had every single one of them, in a giant. Oh gosh, it was this big, I think. Mm -hmm. But you know, the case that you 
to hold them all. So this is perfect if you have kids or if you're just a Disney fanatic, yeah. seven bucks a month. And slowly but surely, Di um, Disney's gonna be removing all of their content off of Netflix, including Marvel. Right, another interesting one, because the, also the, besides Friends, the most popular show is The Office on Netflix. Mm -hmm. NBC Universe mm -hmm. was launching one, yep. which is free if you have a cable su subscription and $12 if you don't. Yep. And I think that's a big one too, because The Office exactly. and all those NBC Universe You know, it's shows. funny, that's Impact the newest one to kind of just announce that they were coming out. And the only thing they said is, we have The Office. Right. They didn't really say anything else besides the price. They didn't say what else they're putting on. They're just like, just letting you know, 2021, we got The Office. But there are kids mm. these days, kids, I'm 25, but like, who are like, have you seen The Office? It's funny, like, yeah, I watched <laughs> it when it was live. No, I was that person with Friends. Right. <laughs> I, it was, I was a little young when it came out in the 90s, so I didn't watch it until it was on yes. Netflix. That's right. okay. It's true. That's I'm okay. interested though, a lot of NBC's content is on Hulu, so then Hulu might take a hit because they have all of SNL's oh, old NBC shows. NBC owns Hulu. Hulu's not oh, taking okay. a hit. Yes, okay. because because Hulu just sold off a ton of its shares and Disney now mm -hmm. has the most majority stake in Hulu. So a lot there's gonna be a lot of crossover. And I think yeah. Hulu, they've only they've only really been focused on a couple of their like original shows. Right. I think Handmaid's Tale is like the yeah. biggest, biggest one. But really their business model is getting you off of cable. Yeah. Like yeah. you can watch this is us the next day you can watch yes. all those others mm -hmm. so they you know they haven't they have a completely different business also model it's gonna be now fx plus is folding yep. and forming into hulu so like american horror story uh, yep. all, all yeah, those hulu. ryan Murphy are gonna FX leave shows. netflix Ad atlanta are gonna go to hulu so it's gonna it's gonna become disney plus will be more mm -hmm. family friendly pg-13 and Correct. below and hulu become handmaid's tale yeah yeah. So what so. new shows can we look forward to on these services? Ah, uh, so Amazon, who is not trying to steal anything yet from Netflix that we know of, but they are trying to steal people from the Game of Thrones void that is now, you're, you're nodding like, yes, I can't wait to talk about this. Do you want to announce it? Should I let you the know the moment? The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> They're making a five season TV show that's gonna cost a billion dollars about the second age of Middle Earth. I am so pumped. Who else is pumped? Yes, next Amazon. Time, next time I'm just gonna come here and be like, thank you for having me. Lucas, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> I know my TV. This is his yeah. playground. <laughs> no, but no, the, you're right. They spent a billion dollars, $250 million alone just on the rights for The Lord of the Rings. Wow. And the, basically it's because there's nothing to do on Sunday nights anymore now that Game of Thrones is over. However, are you are you familiar with The Witcher coming out on Netflix? I am. Not, not as familiar as Lord of the Rings, yeah. but I know it, it's another fantasy show kind of coming yes. out. Yes, so that one's coming out this year, though. Mm -hmm. And I think they might release the trailer this week for, uh, what was it, what's... Comic-Con, Comic-Con. Yeah. yeah, so that, that's another big one too. So Netflix, again, is trying to do whatever they can. They're really doubling down on their original content because everybody else is. Mm. Trying to get those Game of Thrones fans. I just got so jealous that you were just like having a moment with Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, I felt like I was giving you a big love. But I just feel like this yeah. whole thing is kind of you and Lucas. And yeah, like, I hate it. And you come sit you. here between us. And yeah, then you're like, and oh, cheers. Like, and then you're just leaving me hanging as I'm trying to hold you. hands with oh, them. Oh, I'm sorry that I know oh, my, my TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> well, so do we. <laughs> yeah, you do. You, Shannon knows Shannon knows Netflix deep cuts more than anyone. Yeah. So basically, the question is though, like, are we going to cut the cord for Netflix? I mean, you get a very strong no, reaction. I'm not going to leave Netflix. Netflix. I, mean, I, I'm yeah. not I don't think so either. Netflix. Especially, Netflix like, this is a part of the yeah. fabric of our culture. We're not really leaving is. you, Netflix. We, we are with you. I think Netflix <laughs> originals, like, their shows are so, so good. Like, mm -hmm. I honestly like Sex Education. Mm -hmm. Dark yeah. Dark is my I favorite show. I watched it last of night, and I couldn't wait to talk to you about it. See, that's <laughs> 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 moment. <laughs> yes, Bye, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I love Dark so much. It's the best Suck show on that. I've ever done. Like, you're you're dead. I missed my chance. I missed my chance. You're out. I know. That was so pure. When she leaned in, I was like, I thought you were about to make it. All I heard was Kelly Clarkson a moment like this. And she's like, that this is happening. I was like, my husband would have loved that. He probably would have loved it. It's not for him, okay? It's not for him. I'm going to steal your wife. On that note, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, guys. And you can catch in case you miss it by HuffPost on HuffPost.com and Yahoo's Roku channel. <laughs> XOXO Brunchies, Gossip Girls making a return to TV. The hit CW series will re reboot on the upcoming streaming service HBO Max with 10 episodes and pick, picks up eight years after the original left off wow. with a new generation of New York private school teens introduced to the social Fuck surveillance shit, of man. Gossip Girl. So speaking of new shows coming to streaming services, yeah, this is... Um, the creators, Tell us. the original creators who are, are attached to it, they're not saying it's a reboot, it's an extension. Right. 
extension of the original story, the world that was created on a CW show. It does yeah. make me feel better that the original EP is involved in this project. I just want things to, there's it a- It does make me feel better. I mean, God forbid they sort of, yeah. they <laughs> mess with such a treasure. I mean, thank God, yeah. thank God we have some of the original staff on this because you wouldn't want this in sort of, sort of reckless hands. No, yeah. Not Gossip Girl. Yeah. Not Gossip Girl. Not Gossip Girl. It's just I mean, a treasured series. Ooh, it's really good. We have some of that original voice in this, in this amazing piece of art. <laughs> I knew she was gonna do it. I knew when, she was, when you were talking, I was like, oh, Allie's gonna jump right on this. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm were, you a, were you a fan of the original? Um... <laughs> Wait, I, I, I'm sorry. I pushed oh over that. God, sorry. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Choke me out. I'm right. looking for you. Choke her out. This will be your first around. experience with oh. another girl. <laughs> this honestly is like the gossip girl I want to like, watch. It's like, uh oh, looks choke like Bea's gonna choke out <laughs> Allison. Oh my, please, hello. Hi. I'm I just, here waiting for you. I just don't you, know what you to say. You choke and tease? Oh. Your teeth. She's so close. Just grab her. Just grab, grab her. Just grab her. Just grab me. Look, you little shit bit. Touch me. <laughs> 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 I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so Gossip Girl, um, I watched a little bit. You watched a little bit of it. I watched what? like the first two seasons and then it got a little like, uh, you know. You're wild. Oh my God, I can't You're believe wild. you. <laughs> You're wild. No, I can't believe that you didn't watch every episode. Do you see how white this show is? It's very white. Oh, I had a hard time. I always thought time Dan watching. Humphrey wasn't white. <laughs> <laughs> He's very white. Yeah. Because you know, he lived in Brooklyn. As a, as a he, was, he lived in Brooklyn and he was like, you know, like not when on the I upper watched side. the show sometimes when I growing up when I'd watch shows that were all white, I'd just pretend that one of them was at least Latino. Yeah. Then Humphrey, I'd be like, yeah, he's probably undercover Puerto Rican. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> so I just pretend he's not white. Oh man, this was like the original porn for me. Oh yeah. Mm. So I'm excited. You to had have... some sexual awakenings during Gossip Girl. Uh, I well, well, yeah. <laughs> I guess looking back on it, I mean, they had really nice sex scenes. Yeah, they did. And I was excited about that. I mean, I remember the original like posters for Gossip Girl, and it would just yeah. show like like a clit, and it'd be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, remember Wednesday today. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, this is great. I remember when like the news, like the news story was like, look at this poster. And it was like Serena like going, uh, and it said and OMFG. Like, yeah. And they were like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> is that what they're trying to say? Oh my fucking yeah. God, they're trying to fuck God in this yeah. show. And you're like, oh, what are you talking about? And they were like, this is of the devil. Yeah. And, like, and that's why it rocks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all good TV is of the devil. Yeah, it's like Leighton Meester on like a nipple. And it's just like, <laughs> next week. And I'm like, <laughs> I remember the posters. I've never seen an episode. You're so sick. You've never seen an episode. <laughs> never. You're so. I sick. was busy watching Ugly Betty. What? I remember that oh, was on the same time. That's a better time. fit for God. you. Such a, I, I actually. Such an ugly I watched Ugly Betty. Oh my! I remember I when Leighton um, when um late uh, late oh. late Meester. Late, late, no, no, the blonde. Oh my God, I'm blinking. Blake oh, Lively. Blake Lively. Lively. Duh. America <laughs> Ferrer on icon. were on yeah. the Today Show and they were talking and like. <laughs> And, and Marith Vera asks, like, so, like, Gossip Girl, but she starts talking about her show, and Marith just rolling her eyes, like, how dumb right. Gossip Girl is, because she was on Ugly Betty. A real, Wait, the writing. the writing on Gossip Girl was actually really good. I never, I'm not judging. I don't that know, was, yeah, yeah, like, what Ugly Betty's on, like, bitch is jealous. But did you, did you remember when Serena show. and Blair went to Spain, and it was like, it was like, <laughs> vivamos, and like, it was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, her accent speaking Spanish. Do you remember I mean, that? I mean, I remember them speaking Spanish, but I didn't think it was that bad. But again, and maybe my standards were really low, and I was just no. like, these people are hot, they're having sex, yeah. I'm horny. Oh, well, yeah. there's new stories to explore in the Upper East Side. As a yeah. former Upper East Sider, the, things are happening up there. Are they? It gets, <laughs> you know, it gets busy. Things are happening in Nanny's apartment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. I miss it. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Yeah, I'm the Met. It's yeah. fun to walk by and say hi to the Met, yeah. you know? I should be on Gossip Girl. You should. Oh, God. I like so. Um, I just want to say this where Blake Lively started her fashion career and why she's a fashion icon. Uh, to you know, I loved her outfits in this show. Obviously, I loved all the clothing. It was yeah. really exciting for me. And I read that Blake Lively actually like got to just keep all the clothes from the she's show. Really? Really? And like she would just be like, oh, this is amazing. And then she would just get it. And I was like, that's so awesome. One thing about Gossip Girl, though, kind of reminds me of the click in that I was like middle school and high school watching this. 
and you see that they're in high school and it's just like they're grown ass adults. They're adults. And it's just like, oh man, like I can't find anything on me. And they're just like <laughs> fucking each other and getting off. But, and like that's a bit frustrating. Well, that's yeah. what they asked if any of the original cast were gonna come back for the reboot. And Chance Crawford was like, it was an important time in Chase. my life. Chase, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't watch the show. Yeah. Um, but he's like 30 now. So he's like, I don't know what it would be like if we came back. Like yeah. we were adults when we did it and now we're in our 30s. I, ho like, I hope yeah. they get actual teenagers. Right? Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't think that like we can live in a world where euphoria exists and mm. Gossip Girl doesn't change. Now. Yeah, they can't mm. come back and do the same thing because we already have like really good quality <laughs> stuff. So I think they have to take a, a new vibe. Yeah, I agree. Sure. Yeah, I agree, we'll Shannon. See. Yeah, remember when Chase Crawford got in trouble for smoking? Um, the headline said marijuana, and everybody was like. <gasps> He gets high, <laughs> and I'm like, that's nothing mm. now. I don't remember that, but that is nothing. Yeah, yeah, he got high, and he, like, split his lip, and then he never got, like, back to his original version of hot, and now he's, like, a different version. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I now watched Now he has to play much. ugly characters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all? Singer-songwriter <laughs> Grimes is making headlines for her Instagram post in which she reveals her intense workout routine and how she removes part of her eye to cure seasonal depression. Ugh. Allie, why don't you take this one? I mean, the most insane workout routine. I actually wish that I had written down. I wrote it down. Oh, you wrote down some of the specific. You yeah. read it, you read it. So um, two to four hours of deprivation tank. Um, then one. So what is, that's when you're in the water. At, like the water. Like she, a, she astro glides to other dimensions. Mm -hmm. Then In the tank. In the tank. Yeah. Then one to two, this, I actually love this, one to two hours of sword fighting lessons. Yes. I'm all about that. Is this Good a, a day? This is in a day. Then she goes to the recording studio, which is like an IR sauna. Then her friend. I don't know what that is. I think infrared just, light. Infrared, probably, yeah. I think, sauna. Isn't that bad for your skin? No. No, it's really good for you. It's good. Infrared. It's like the good race. It's the good oh. race. And then her okay. friend Hannah comes over and they scream for 25 minutes. Then that, that, that. Let's talk about that. Yeah. So that. And, yeah. and then the, she eliminated blue light from her eye by taking off her uh, top of her eye, putting in something she created and like orange Lexi ultra West. flex. Yeah. She yeah. Put, she created with a friend. That sounds safe. It's like an amped up LASIK. Woo! A uh, uh, singer makes something and puts it in her eye. Wow. I'm really. Ooh, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, I don't know what to say to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I get heebie jeebies this, reading this stuff. Sorry. Go on. <laughs> and I heard all of this and I was like, she must feel fantastic. I mean, if you can spend every second of your day like making your body like its peak body. body on the show. Well, <laughs> you set her up again, I, Brittany. I, that, I want that, Allie to attack me because she thinks I'm insane. That you feel that way. <laughs> that's insane. I, because I don't think anyone who's doing this feels amazing. I think she's insane. This sounds so insane to me. Sometimes crazy people are the happiest. But Do you think that this is the, the signs of a happy life? I don't think so. So I'm spend 20 minutes screaming every day. Have you ever like screamed? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's a release. You know what's I great? A Running ago, on the treadmill. It is swimming. Frolicking in the in the woods. You I don't know. That's healthier than this. I think you guys should choke it out. <laughs> oh, like I think you guys should choke it out and we'll see who wins I, after. Removing part of her eye? Okay, that's crazy. I'm not saying this isn't crazy. I'm saying it's interesting to see when somebody's like doing all these things to I function know. at, like she was saying the vitamins she takes and the mm. like she has a diet that's based on her blood type. Like she's doing all these things that we've read about like all together. Is she, is she functioning at a high level? Grimes? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I would what have to like sit down and talk to her. I feel like her music, I like her music, but yeah. I didn't think that she was functioning at a greater level than like us. Well, maybe she feels good. Don't you guys just feel tired all the time? She doesn't look like she feels that good. <laughs> I'm tired like all the time. Yeah. I so guess. I look at her and I'm like, maybe she's not. She screamed for 20 but, minutes. She was in a deep meditation in a tub. Like, how that do you safely fantastic. scream as a vocalist? Does anyone right. know? I don't that know. scares Diaphragm. me. Diaphragm. Yeah. That. Uh, oh! <laughs> that sounds like us. Professional. Uh, oh. Maybe that's what she's doing. Yeah. Maybe. Uh. But it's, yeah. Have you guys tried any extreme workouts or you keep it pretty basic? It's, no. Oh, I'm yeah. pretty oh. basic. Yeah. I don't know. I was bulimic for a while. Mm. <laughs> that's extreme. That's extreme. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Is there another part of this? No. I well, oh, you, the vaccine. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There's a new vaccine that's being um, mm -hmm. tested. At, I didn't actually know this, so I just took it. Uh, that could prevent stress, anxiety, and depression. <laughs> yeah, they're testing on a, a mice. Yeah. yeah. Poor mice. Poor mice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do we even know if mice are depressed? I don't even know. Like, I think that they probably are happier than us. Right? It's just interesting that they're developing they're stress. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're like, oh, these humans. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's interesting, though, like a vaccine, like how we look to drugs to fix a lot of things. Yeah. And it's like, 
I, we, we know that like screen time and technology have really greatly impact our anxiety and stress. And it's like, instead of pulling back on those things, we're like, here, take this shot. Well, okay, I, are you, are this anti-vaxxing, like, are you trying to push No, I mean, this isn't a vaccine for measles, mumps, and rubella. Yeah. I mean, that's important, <laughs> vaccinate your children. Yeah. But like, you know. I, mean, I feel like she's about to pull out a mask and be like, I'm Jessica Biel, yeah. <laughs> Jessica Biel this whole time. And I'd be like, oh my God, I, I love I, your work. I hear, <laughs> I'm like, I'm such a fan, seriously. I hear what you're saying, but I have to say, if something like this actually works, works. and is amazing, that's incredible. Like, mental health struggles are so, so real and so under, yeah. I don't know. No, that's true. And I mean, and the medications that exist now don't work for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If there's so something that Do could... I think it works? Who knows? Yeah. But I hope something like that works one day. That'd yeah. be amazing if someone could prevent having depression. Seems yeah. better than removing part of your eye, like yeah. lines. That was to prevent seasonal depression to get rid of blue light. Damn. Just, Maybe she's depressed because she's in a fucking sensory tank for two hours, yeah. screaming that might with be Hannah okay. every day. <laughs> Can uh, she still see the color blue, though, if she can't see blue light? Like, what happens when she watches a Smurfs movie? Is she just gonna be like... <laughs> 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 like, I'm concerned. It's so dark for her. Yeah, I'm confused. I like, am know. I a dummy? Can you still eliminate blue light and see the color blue? Blue is like a great color. Yeah, no, you're it's not a dummy. Color. I think she can still see blue. Okay, well, she didn't God. Thank God. Well, you guys, when asked about marriage during a recent interview on The Kyle and Jackie O Show, Katy Perry revealed that her and Orlando Bloom aren't just tying the knot just yet. Take a look. How are you and Orlando going? Are we going to see a wedding this year or are we going to get a long engagement? Well, you always want the wedding straight away, Jackie. <laughs> Let him love for a while before the wedding. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, I, I think we're doing really great and we're really – doing the hard work and laying a beautiful foundation before we start to build a massive house. Yeah. Massive. So tell us, Katie, are you going to get married? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, what accent was that? I don't know. Irish? Remember when I, I was doing Australian. the Australian accent and um, we had on the Australian Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <gasps> so uh -oh. Les Barber. Is that who it was? I think it was. was She's it? Australian. Oh, OK. Oh. Anyways, um, <laughs> Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom. Wowza, they're gonna build a massive house. What does that mean? She clarified she meant emotionally, not a big house. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. That's nice. Laying the groundwork for a healthy, sort of, you know, mm. fruitful relationship. I love that. I use that all the time when I'm like, I'm gonna shove a massive burger down my throat emotionally. Right. <laughs> emotionally. <laughs> it's a good save, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's crazy that they were exes and now they're back together and married. I don't feel like you often see people who break up actually being able to come back together. Yeah. I mean, he's had a marriage now. And a baby. So I they didn't get think married that's yet. They're not, that's the whole point. They're not yeah, married that's yet. That's the story. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> they're engaged and they're, they're gonna wait to get married. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's misbehaving. Yeah. So crowd. So <laughs> <laughs> in my, yeah, never mind. I'm in, not even in, gonna go. In, <laughs> even in gonna the go. interview, um, too, uh, they brought up, red. they asked how well endowed Orlando Bloom is, and she wouldn't answer, but said it's what's inside that counts. We've all We've seen, seen it. the picture. I know, that's, why, on that paddle that's why she didn't answer, because she Google it. I looked at them this morning. Yeah. We looked at them on the show. We yeah. like look at these pics like every day. We do. It's like it's nonstop that I'm like, I need to see his ball sack hanging from the back with we a know. little bee hole creep. You know, that's like <laughs> how you know if someone has a good personality or not. We know that. Yeah. yeah. So we, what what are we gonna do about it? <laughs> I think we have live footage of the, that ball sack hanging. Do you want to toss to it, guys? Cut to live no. footage of that ball sack oh. now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna cut to this camera. Um, no, it's too late, Joe. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. She also spoke about um, ending her feud with Taylor Swift. That she sent a little olive branch, but like. That they met, they were at an Oscar party, and they just like were talking, and they, they get each other, and I believe it's, it. It's inspiring. World peace can happen. We can, we can solve our problems with Iran. That's all I'm saying. Uh, oh man! And I just want to say that there are enemas to prevent aging. <laughs> <laughs> well, she uses yeah, enemas apparently to cleanse her body. People are like, don't do that because like you can hurt yourself. On and with How an enema? How can you hurt yourself? Too much enema. Too many enemas. Oh, okay. Guys, yeah. I tried an enema because, you know, I could probably definitely use it. 
and um, the lady was like, oh, okay, things are gonna come out and the water will come out. And I was sitting there and she's like, this water's not coming back. She's yeah. like, your body is just absorbing it. And I was like, are you sure? I'm like, I'll try pushing it out. And she was like, it's, it's gone. <laughs> and like all that water just like absorbed into my anus. You like my pee hole it. was like, I needed this. You have a dry. <laughs> yeah, stuff. it's really dry. That's so, you, what's going on? You absorbed just all the extra toxins. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, I just, like, she just was, like, putting, like, dunks, like, with bags and bags of water in me, and she's like, how's it feel? I'm like, it's great! <laughs> and my butt's like, <laughs> and I was like, this is a lot. And, and it thought, never came out. Never! And she's like, it never she's came like, out. emotionally. <laughs> yeah, emotionally, no, no. That never actually happened. It was just those feelings. I absorb animals emotionally. <laughs> No, oh man. Uh, I was so disappointed, you know? Because everybody takes those videos where they're like, oh, look at that, my breakfast when I was 12. Like all the cool, like poopy floaties, nothing came out. I've never, <gasps> we have different feeds, I think. Oh, my yeah, feed I was like, is... I've never seen that video. Okay, oh, well, sorry, yeah. I got the freak feed. You do. Yeah, like, <laughs> is there any fucking universe in which I don't have the freak feed? <laughs> You got the freak feet. Girl. I'm just a ship it, and you got the freak feet. Oh. Well, good luck with all that. <laughs> I don't do this. <laughs> I meant your poop. Oh. Yeah, I meant like you. Oh, that okay. sounds like a problem. Like, mm. <laughs> Brittany has just literally been yeah. going hardcore against these two. It's like, oh. Uh, I can't win today. You so can't. Time to move on. <laughs> now it's time for today's guests. Really Doe is an original series by Thrillers, which stars pizza aficionado Scott Wiener and Luca Lee's Mark Iacono as they taste test dishes to decide whether or not they are classified as pizza. Take a look. Last time on Really Doe. Mark, come on up. Is it done yet? Yeah, it's coming out of the oven right now. Taking Mark's pizza in Mark's oven? This is like wearing somebody else's underpants. Why do you always gotta go there? What do you mean go there? I made you the bubble because you love bubbles, so I intentionally did that. This one was a mistake, but these two are intentional. Check the underside, check the underside. Look at that. You did a pretty good job. Not bad, right? You wanna work here? I'm your friend. You're my best friend. Your pizza knowledge it blows me away. No, I really enjoy hanging out with you. I eat anything you bring me. You really are one of my favorites. You wanna work here? You wanna work here? Are you serious? No. Oh. You got me. Well, what about a road trip? Come on, let's eat. I'm inspired by you. Okay. I gotta get back to work. Now, when do we open? Like five, six hours from now? Everyone, please give a warm build brunch welcome to Scott Wiener and Mark Iacono. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Awesome. Good. Thanks for having us. Yeah, Scott made me eat pizza at nine in the morning. As you should I every day. To. Really? It's not totally true. I had you pizza to. left over from last night, mm. and I brought it with me because I knew I would see him, and I thought he might appreciate the gift that a true friend gives another <laughs> friend. And he said no. Where was the pizza from? New York Pizza Suprema, 8th Avenue and 31st Street. Good? So good. Even a day later. No, don't give me that I, I, I don't You can bring us pizza at 9 a.m. anytime you, you want. You like leftover right pizza? Yeah. I can't do it. I don't, oh, I don't like it. Really? I don't like it, no. Yeah, I can get you. I'm with you. So wait, this show is amazing. We're huge fans of it. Tell us about the concept. Well, the idea is Mark is truly a purist for pizza. Like, he doesn't even like toppings. Oh. And I'm sort of like, oh, I'll so eat that. anything on a pizza. And so in each episode, I bring him a pizza that's kind of funky and out there. Mm -hmm. and you said you're about that? I very much have the traditional, like, margarita or- Well, no, I mean, I, yeah. my, my thing is, Good pizza doesn't need toppings. 100% agree with that philosophy. I'm sorry, I love, I like you a lot. I'm just saying, I agree with that. <laughs> Split the check. Moral <laughs> philosophy as a human being, I, yeah. I agree with that. I think that even though good pizza doesn't need toppings, I do think that just because it has something on it doesn't disqualify it mm -hmm. from the definition of the word pizza. Yes. Okay. I agree. No, I agree, but some of the stuff you bring me is insane. No pineapple. <laughs> no, no pineapple. Oh. I Only like pineapple. pepperoni, really. I like pineapple. I do too. Okay. So in season three, you guys are taking the show on the road. Yeah. Now tell us how it will be a little different than previous seasons. Well, the first two times, 
I would go out and find a pizza for Mark. I'd bring it to him in Brooklyn. <laughs> We'd eat it in his pizzeria because he would never leave. <laughs> Love that. He got and, me to leave. Yeah, well, because you asked me to. Mm. He said, finally, he's ready to take a break. And uh, he let me drive him around and take a little road trip. You wear the, the US. pants. <laughs> I wear the shorts. So you're a purist. You're a little more advent adventurous. But what is the definition of a pizza? What makes a pizza a pizza? I I'm not going to get it because he's just going to go you know, say, no, that's not <laughs> no, it. So I wanna hear, no, I want to hear your definition. Yeah, dough, sauce, and cheese. You have a voice. I, you know, I've said it a hundred times. Dough, let sauce, and cheese. Let your voice out. This is and turning into therapy, topping, guys. <laughs> you don't even know. I'm so sorry. Pretend that someone's meeting you guys for the first time, and we've never heard you talk about pizza. Yeah. Mark, what, what is the definition of pizza to you? Dough, sauce, and cheese. That's it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. See? I know. How about I you? like that. Like, I would agree. Dough, sauce, and cheese. Yeah. I'm quoting. What that. are you? How do you define it? Well, you know, according to Scott, yeah, you put mayonnaise on it. Well, that's a sauce. what? No, okay. Okay. that's a sauce. Pizza, Scott. I'm fine with that. I feel like You're why wild. not? If you don't want it, don't order it. It's I fine. finally have people that are on my side. I, I know. I, yeah. it. I know. My definition <laughs> is more of like a historically based definition. Mm -hmm. So. Since the earliest pizzas. See the, Nerd alert. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm not it's smart fine. enough to like, go toe to toe with him in an argument. No, I'm just saying. He's pulling because, out these mm. books from the 19th century written in Latin, and I'm like, and he's reading it to that me. That was the like, 17th century. 17th right? century, yes. That was Ooh. even early. Well, I'm just saying that. You're like, the Lucas of this team. <laughs> yeah. That's an honor. Yeah. I just feel like Welcome, if it's. fellow nerd. If it's dough <laughs> that then gets topped and then gets baked. What about, has to be stretched that though? Then that's pizza. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's, I it's, love a top pizza. I'm with, <laughs> <laughs> but the word itself, like that word pizza, the root of that word is just the root for bread. Uh -huh. So all pizza is a bread. If you take away the dough, it's not a pizza. But if you take away the cheese, pizza marinara. It's Ooh. a pizza. If you take away the sauce, white pizza. Mm -hmm. So pizza's well, just dough weighed down. you have the white pizza and you have the regular pizza. Uh, what do you think about See, like cauliflower you know, I gotta pizza. deal with like I'm driving around in a car all over the country with this oh, guy. Well, <laughs> no, I just, <laughs> cauliflower pizza, I feel like once you substitute the base of the pizza, the bread part, for, and you put something else in there, it's no longer bread, it's no longer pizza. But it's a cauliflower dough. It's but a it cauliflower flour. Right, right. So now, but it's now, not a bread dough. Scott. <laughs> yeah, I but love it's the, flour, Scott. You guys are always going to be on flour. opposite ends, no matter yeah. what we say. Just, like, he likes to he, fight again. This is cute. You guys should have a show. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain how Thrillist has helped kind of shape Really Dough in, in your show? Yeah, we had no idea what it was when they asked us to do it. So they just called me and said, do you want to do this thing eating weird pizzas? And I, I say yes, yes, of course. Yeah. And then they said, oh yeah, we're going to call Mark and have him do it. And then we just showed up on day one having no idea what was going on. Oh. And it was like, it just kind of turned into this thing where on this new season, on the third season, having us be on the road together totally like lets us go kind of crazy because it's us spending a lot of time driving and talking and it's just me driving and Mark sitting there trying to take a nap and me bugging him about pizza stuff. It's like, just, I don't know, it's just, it's gotten to be more about the definition of words and how words change over time than it is a food show. Mm -hmm. I think food shows are, can get boring, yeah. but shows that like challenge your ideas about the world are better. Yeah, and this is, I'm very curious about this. I mean, after three seasons, right? What is the best pizza you've had? Where is, where is it from? Oh, it's such wow, so many good pizzas. I, I can't. Give yeah. us some, some of the best in New York City for, for our viewers who are watching. So the now. first two seasons we did do only New York City and like mm -hmm. maybe a couple in New Jersey. We had, I mean, they're all really, we did like a crazy cheeseburger pizza from Crave It in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Or in Queens, in That's Bayside, Queens. I mean, that me? was crazy. No, I'm just telling you weird right. ones. Oh, I'm, because like the show's not about. Oh, I was like, yeah. How yeah, was that? Yeah, like my favorite places in the city are um, Joe's, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Scars, uh, in Brooklyn, Best Pizza, The Farris, Luigi's. Hmm. But those are like typical pizza joints. Right. Yeah. Not like the show is getting away. The show's not about just pizza being good. It's about. The de it's about so definition. What was the cheeseburger pizza? What was that? Just oh, it like, had like literally a cheeseburger on top. And like fries. multiple. Oh, and fried egg. And fried egg. It was weird. Wait, like oh, the cheeseburger the with the bun too? Mm -hmm. It was gotcha. a pizza with whole cheeseburgers oh. and fried eggs yeah. on top. I don't like that when you hold up the slice and it goes, yeah. you know, like who wants it's a, a plastic slice? Yeah, you don't want to. Well, that's why you got to fold it. Yeah. Oh, fuck that. I don't fold that. So you're not a folder? Mm -mm. Oh, I fold. I, you, you gotta, gotta fold. do one bend. If you're mm -hmm. from New York, you bend. Well, I just feel like yeah, if you need no, it, you just hold it and I hold it, like, keep it straight and flat. I like it to be stiff, but I don't want to fold it. Mm. Not a fold. Mm -hmm. No, fold. I do a slight bend by the crust, and that's it. A little kink? What about, didn't you guys have a $1,000? 
slice of pizza. Oh, we had a yeah, the one that Mike made us at Tony Bologna. Right. Uh, yeah, and the and the two thousand dollar pizza. Was oh, it made nice. with gold? What did that? Was it exceptional? Or was it just like the, I don't even know that these names. The hell. It was <laughs> some kind of crazy. We had a place called uh, Industry Kitchen, uh, down by South Street Seaport, and it was a squid ink dyed dough with Stilton cheese, foie gras, Ooh. truffles, wow. gold caviar, caviar awesome. edible flowers. Was but, it good? It was interesting. It was, Sounds like a ooh. lot of competing flavors. Right. Yeah. yeah, well, it's the kind of thing where, you know, some pizzerias, like, make a food that you, they want you to eat, but some of them are doing it just because they want to make sure to have a, the most expensive pizza in the yeah. world. And, like, it doesn't make it not pizza to me. Mm -hmm. It just makes it maybe not a good pizza. <laughs> but it had squid ink in it. Yeah. It, it. Okay, so it, flour is necessary, but water isn't. Flour, and it had water, too. If squid ink wasn't replacing oh. the water. The squid ink was just the dye. Remember, we talked about how, like, you know, you can use squid ink to dye pasta. Mm -hmm. So why can't you use it to dye pizza okay. dough? Mm -hmm. Sure. I just feel like he lives in a little box. Mm. I'm just trying to let him know that right. you can get out of there, and, like, the world's much bigger than Brooklyn. I feel like he really likes that. his box. Yeah. No, it, no, it, it's not that. It's just, like, you know, I think they're just taking it too far. Uh-huh. So you don't have to eat you it. Know. Well, you, you spoke... Oh, no, I like it. Just don't call it pizza. Oh, no. it's totally different. Oh. Pizza See, I'm like the opposite. It's I'm like... Words. It's not I'm that like I don't opposite. like it. Well, it's called pizza, but I don't like it. Oh. No. We have really broken through here. <laughs> no, it's not pizza. But I'm saying to me it, it is. is. Oh, okay, I got you. We're saying it. we're just total. Okay, it's great. Is it pizza <laughs> emotionally? <laughs> so know? that's you're hitting like yeah. for him it's an emotional thing. Like he has to when he bites it he knows in his heart if it's pizza. Yeah. And for me it's like, dude, 300 years ago pizza was different from what it is today. So what we have now is an abomination to them. Yeah. So, like, 300 years from now, it's going to be a different. Words don't stay the same. I'm wow. trying to think of something yeah. really smart to say <laughs> What's up? to that, but I can't. You know what you're going to say. You're going to no. say, that was a good point. No. <laughs> no, it's okay. Well, I guess it's time to move on to the fun part where we get to eat. So we have brought in four different pizzas, pizzas from <laughs> New York, from four different places with four very different price points. And we want to sample each of them, and we want you to pick your favorite. And we're gonna do it with you. Wow! Oh, I feel like I know okay. what these are from. So everybody, take. I, I think I know what that so Everybody, one is. take a yellow slice. We'll do yellow slice first. Yeah, pass it down. Take Thank one, pass you. it down. This is when I believe in miracles. Mm. I get to eat pizza. What do you think about ten? Can you take a slice? Like I don't yeah, no, I, I want to. No. Oh, you I'm take... serving you first. Thank oh, it's you. very nice of you. Well, mm -hmm. this is like my world. That's great. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great pizza. Yeah, I feel like this is like a good ninety-nine cent slice. Yeah. Okay. All right, green plate. Mm, is this Papa John's? Mm. It definitely looks that like it's a uh, dumb. I know what that is. Mm. Can you snag one of those? Yeah, I feel like yeah. I'm at a sleepover with this one. The problem is I'm so hungry, I just want to eat yeah, all of them. I don't even why, care so what they I don't do tastings, I ate the whole slice. Yeah. You see, on the underside of this one, mm. there's a char, mm. so it's making direct contact with an oven. <laughs> but this one, it's on a, it's on a tray, like a tray with little uh, holes yeah. in it. Mm -hmm. But look, it has like, a, has like some little bumps. You got a little uh, texture there. You know, rub it on your thigh if you get you bored. Okay. Blue plate. The blue plate. Take one, pass it down. Take one, pass it down. What's the bottom of that one look like? Oh, okay. A little dusty. Mm -hmm. A little dusty. I think I know what this one. Is. Well, I like this one. I know you think you know where it's from? Mm -hmm. I know what this one is. Ooh, I like this crust already. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need the whole slice to really get my. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's me too. This I, really I think that's it. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't like that one as much. Yeah, it's pulling me off a little. Mm -hmm. All right, last okay. one. Mm -hmm. Orange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the best Friday we've ever had on this show. You mm. like school when you had pizza on Fridays? Mm. Good times. Okay. Oh, this one's pretty. Mm, this one's good too. Oh, this one's garlicky. All right. I know what they all are. Oh, that looks so good. And oh, with no breadcrumbs on the bottom. All right. Okay. Yeah. I, I know what they like this more. No, I think they, they use. Uh, like so we do like hands in the, the air, which we think is. All right. So let's rank them: yellow, green, blue, or orange. On this panel, who likes the yellow? I actually preferred the yellow. That was the first. Well, one. I, it's not so cut and dry for me. Okay. Well, you have to make a choice. You make a choice. Okay. So I, I, I know it. what my favorite one okay. is, but it's not yellow. Who likes green? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to yellow. You wanna go yellow? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go to yellow. So you're green. Yeah, because I know it's like the the stupid chain one, and it reminds me of fun times, and you're like at a cool sleepover. Okay. Blue one. Two. Alright. And then orange. You, you gotta go none of them. Oh. You go none of them. 
I don't like it. I can't eat cold pizza. I don't like cold pizza. This is not cold pizza. It's right, cold so pizza. The yellow is Joe's pizza, so yeah. that was our That's favorite. Knew it. Yeah, I was going to say The yellow. green is Domino's. Domino's, yep. The blue is Prince Street yep. pizza. Yeah. Really? Got it. And the orange is Pizza Mercado. Mercado, I knew, uh, knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It's really good. I knew it. But Joe's, I'm such a Joe's, lo I like it. love Joe's. I think the only one I've ever eaten out of Joe's. Let me tell you, I like Joe's, but when it's cold and the it's cheese different. gets like that, it's not good. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Well, this and the sauce is very sweet. I love the print. bumps on the oh, Domino's. Yes. Like, <laughs> seriously, good grip, you know? I love, like, texture. There is something, like, really comfor comforting about the Domino's, though. Like, I could have eaten it. Also. I agree. Like, it's fine. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We love you. Yeah. Yeah. And you can get season three of Really Though on the Thrillist IGTV, YouTube, okay. Facebook, and Twitter thing. channels. Mm -hmm. That's all from us. We'll see you guys on Monday, same time, same table. Goodbye. Eat pizza.